Let's move on now to the fourth email in today. And the fourth email in today comes to us from Sean Manford, who writes, Hey, John, big fan from London. Thank you so much, Sean. In 2017, there was a brief rumor of some sort of return to the Matrix. But the Wachowskis have kind of disappeared after changes in their personal life and doesn't seem interested in movies or the Matrix. In this era of remakes, franchises, and sequels, does it surprise you that this amazing concept of, a movie, of movie making virtually died after revolutions in 2003? Keep it filthy, bro. All right, thanks a lot for the question, Sean. And you know what? It wasn't just in 2017. There's been talks and whispers and rumors and all this kind of stuff of a re going back to the Matrix again for years. It wasn't just 2017. It's been going on for a long time, whether it's just pure baseless fan speculation or somebody talked about, well, we've been talking about something, you know, whether that there's been a lot of talk about going back to the matrix. I, I'd argue since 2005, really, it's been a long time, but there are a couple of things to keep in mind. Number one, while I quite enjoyed the second matrix, I, I quite enjoyed this. I believe it was Matrix Reloaded. I like Matrix Reloaded. I thought Seraph was a great character. I, I actually quite enjoyed it. Not as much as the first one. First one was clearly better. But I liked it. A lot of people didn't like it, though. Oh, I even loved the twins and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, but a lot of people did not like the second Matrix. Okay. It wasn't, like, like hated and spit on, but a lot of people didn't like it. Okay. Then you get to Matrix uh, Revolutions. A lot of people hated that movie. And I wasn't a big fan of it either. I, I, I didn't like it. I liked the first two. I, and a lot of people only liked the first one. Third one was a weak finish. Third one was a weak finish. To the point that I know a lot of movie fans that only consider the first Matrix movie being the only Matrix movie. There, there are film fans that I know that consider there only being one Matrix movie and that was the first one. So you got to keep that in consideration is that it's a franchise that really did limp across the finish line. Now you got some Animatrix stuff and all that. Honestly, I thought the Animatrix stuff was a little overrated. It was pretty good, but I thought it got more praise than what it actually deserved. But at any rate, but then you look at the Wachowskis since then. And really, frankly, they haven't directed anything that's gotten a lot of praise. And they have directed some just universally horrible movies. Not the least of which was, I believe, the last one they did, which was Jupiter Ascending, which, quite frankly, is one of the worst motion pictures I've ever seen. It's, it's got to be in the top 20 of the worst motion pictures I've ever seen. Mm. I remember, I'll never forget this, me, some of you might have heard this story before, but me, Dennis Zen, and John Schnepp, one evening we we're, were hanging out and we decided we're going to do a double feature. So the, the show times at the AMC Burbank 16 lined up perfectly for us to go in and watch Seventh Sun. And then right after, like five minutes after it, Jupiter Ascending. Obviously, the worst double feature I've ever seen in my life. Um, it, it became incredibly memorable. And we talked about it uh, a lot after that. And I remember Schnapp just kept laughing at me because I'm watching Jupiter Ascending and it's so bad. I had literally, you ever see a movie that's so bad that you just become embarrassed for the people involved? And like, I was literally covering my face and stomping my feet going, oh my God, this is so bad. It's awful. And better than what I could do, but I'm not the standard of excellence, am I? It was brutally awful, irredeemably bad. Just absolutely irredeemably bad. The one thing I'll say for it, it's got some nice visual effects. It does. It does. Beyond that, uh, it is an absolutely irredeemable movie. Just horrible. So looking at the fact that Matrix kind of finished on a whimper with the fact that the Wachowskis really haven't done anything exceptional since, it's not really all that surprising. And I think, you know, the Matrix is still so fresh, really in the pop culture's mind, even though it was so many years ago, Came out the same year as The Phantom Menace. If, in case you forgot how long ago The Matrix came out. It is still very, very fresh in the pop culture's mind, right? So, honestly, I'm really not all that surprised we haven't seen anything. Now look, at this point, I wouldn't be surprised also if we did hear some kind of announcement sometime in the near future about revisiting The Matrix and all that kind of stuff. But I'm not surprised we haven't yet. And I won't be surprised if we don't ever hear about revisiting The Matrix, to be honest with you. 
All right, let's move on to the fifth and final.